What's up guys, it's me Chris Lee. Today we're going to be taking a look at some pets that might be coming into Adopt Me for a spring update. We know that Adopt Me's already released some brand new pet wear and guys, we're taking a look at that today as well. It's really cool. But guys, have you joined the Pet Salami yet? If you haven't joined the Pet Salami, what are you doing with your life? Hit that subscribe button and leave a like on this video right now to join. Actually, I want to see if you can join the Pet Salami before we hit the floor. I'm going to stop right and jump down to the main center. Can you leave a like and subscribe in that time? I said that really fast. Guys. I want to see if you can leave a like and hit that subscribe button before we hit the floor. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's do it in three, two, one. Guys, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. What is happening? It did it again. And where? This is weird. Adopt Me has been so glitchy for me recently. That was weird. But guys, did you leave a like and subscribe and join the pretzel army? Thank you so much. You are so awesome. Guys, you might have noticed that we're still using our frost dragon. That's because we don't have Starburst back yet. But guys, I saw my sister's video and she found Starburst and the neon hacker I Eat Puppies. So guys, we're going to be meeting up with I Eat Puppies this weekend. So make sure to stay tuned on the channel. Leave a like, subscribe with notifications on so you know when that video goes up and you know what's happening with Starburst. Please leave a like for good luck and also join the Pretzel Army and subscribe because we know that the bigger our army is, the bigger the pet slummy is the more luck we have when battling this neon hacker so you guys if you want to join us when we're battling the neon hacker make sure to just comment down below your roblox username and let me know if you want to join us but guys you have to be subscribed for the chance of coming with us so make sure you subscribe with that bell on but on a happier note guys we are giving away 10,000 robux because we are so so close to 700,000 subscribers so guys if you want to enter the giveaway all you need to do subscribe to the channel comment down below your roblox username <laughs> Uh, I thought it did hit you. It just went above my head. Oh, <laughs> my mum's in the room as well. She's on her phone and sorry, mum. That's okay. Continue. <laughs> and also share this video with as many people as you can. Okay, that's done. That did not hit her. That almost hit me. But guys, last but not least, comment down below your Roblox username and 10k yay, and then you're in the draw to win the 10,000 Robux. That hit a box in the corner. That was not my mum's head. I'm happy. Am I in trouble for that, by the way? No, because it didn't hit me. Oh, but if it did, you would be. Anyway guys, let's get straight into this. Let me show you some of the pets that might be coming into the game in a spring update. To start off with, we're on Avocado Play's brand new video and she's come up with some awesome pet concepts. Let's get into this. Her pet concepts are amazing. To start off with, there's a cute little sheep. Guys, Adopt Me doesn't have a sheep yet. I don't know why. They should have added it in like the farm egg or just a random Robux pet even. I really want a sheep pet. And guys, how cute is this little one? It's so cute, it's looking up like, hello. Wait, she said it was a sheep, but would it be a lamb because it's a baby sheep? I don't know. Maybe there will be like an adult sheep pet and also a baby sheep pet, which will be a lamb. That'll be so cute. Comment down below if you want to see this pet in Adopt Me. It is so, so cute. And the little sparkle in its eyes, guys, this is one of the cutest pet. And I love how it like walks back and forward. That's so awesome. Okay, next up is a super, super cute butterfly. Take a look at this butterfly, guys. It's an uncommon one. And how cute is this? It's like got two little arms. Just butterflies have arms? I guess to like crawl and stand up. And it, I've never thought of this before, but do they have tails? Do butterflies have tails? Do butterflies have tails? Let me know in the comments below. Do butterflies have tails? I spelled that wrong. Like all other insects, butterflies have six legs and three main body parts. Head, thorax, and abdomen. Tail end. Wait, if they've got a tail end, is that the place where the tail is? Is that... That's the abdomen. So... That looks like a tail. Red Salami, you're gonna have to solve this one for me. Google's not helping me. Clearly, look. They, it's just not helping me. Guys, I need to know. Do butterflies have tails? Let me know in the comments below if you know. This is really weird. Okay, I may have got a little bit distracted just then. But guys... This pet is just so cute. I love how it's pink. I love its big eyes. It's like, hello. I love its wings, the nice purple color. Guys, this is really, really cool. Okay, next up is the Easter Bunny. Guys, it's the Easter Bunny. There's a cute little bunny. Look at its little ears. It's like, it's got a little like sash, sachet, sash. It's a side bag. It's a side bag. I need that. 
I'm, I'm glad my mum's helping me today because usually I sound dumb in my videos and now she's here. My mom's actually working in the same room as me at the same time. She's working on other stuff. But I've been at dance school all day. I am so tired. Like, if I was to trip over on the stairs, I'll probably just lie down and just sleep there. Did you close the garage? I don't know why that just came to my head. It just came to my head as one of those things. I don't know what I'm gonna cut out of this video because some of this is actually quite funny. It's good. Like it's this funny. conversation now. No. I don't want to be in your video, go. Why not? <laughs> Keep going. But a heat in the head, that's funny. You didn't, you missed me. Just if they want to hear me, they can go watch Empire Family. Go watch Empire Family. <laughs> go, get back to your spring update, I'm gonna work. Yes. <laughs> so tired. Guys, I'm having fun with this. Let me know if you're having fun as well. I love how it's like ears are droopy, they're like bloop. And guys, it's cute little tail. It's so fluffy. I want, I want, I want to touch it. It's just such a fluffy tail. Guys, how cute is this? Okay, next is an ant pet, and this is actually really cool. I guess it would like scurry next to you a bit, like the rat, and it would just scurry next to you. And would it like scurry in a zigzaggy pattern? Because that's how ants walk. Have you ever seen an ant walk in a straight line? They're always like zip 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 zip. They always go everywhere. I guess that's because I'm almost standing on them. Yeah, that might be a contributing factor. I can't talk. Did I say that right? Contributing? Contributing? Mm -hmm. But guys, this ant is actually really cute. Even though ants aren't cute, that one is super duper cute. Okay, next is a chocolate bunny. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm so hungry, I wanna eat it. Oh my gosh. It's a chocolate bunny. It's got like a milk chocolate. It's like made out of milk chocolate. It's got white chocolate stomach and ears. Its little tail is milk chocolate. Feet are milk chocolate, nose is milk chocolate, its eyes are dark chocolate. It's completely made out of chocolate. Would this be a food item or a pet? That's my question. Whenever people show the chocolate bunnies, I'm like, is it food or is it a pet? Should I love it or should I eat it? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, let's keep watching it though. Come on, I love how these pets like jump up and down. They're super duper cute. Next up is a moose and this one's really cool. It's like got moss on it. Do mooses have moss? Mooses. <laughs> do mooses have moss on them? I don't know why I think they do. I don't know why I think that. But guys, these antlers are like massive. They like go out in all directions. They're so, so big. And it's a rare pet. And I think this is really cool. I love it. Guys, those are the concepts from Avocado Plays. But let's take a look at another pet concept that I've seen. Okay, so I'm on a video from Super Sneaky Spy Girl. How cool are these concepts? Let's take a look at them. So right here is where she shows the spring egg. Guys, how cool is this? So it's like a little toadstool with a toadstool with a little hat on. It reminds me of Toad from Mario. It's super cute. It's also got some vines on it with some flowers. I think that's really awesome. So this one has flowers on it and it's got lavender there. That looks like the golden lavender or the diamond lavender from the brand new like farm shop update, except it's covered in purple when it's not diamond. <laughs> Guys, that's really cool. Okay, let's take a look at some of her concepts. So here she has a dragonfly and I really love its eyes. It's like, hey, what's up? I'm a dragonfly. You know I'm a dragonfly. I'm a cool dragonfly. I got a mouth. I'm smiling at you. You're cool. I'm cool. We're both cool. We who? Guys, that dragonfly is really cool and also there's a little beetle. I love this. I love how like detailed these are. There's like actual like highlights on them from where the light was bouncing off the beetle. That's actually really cool. Next up, she has a little ladybug concept. And even though we have more ladybugs in the game and like this, this was actually made before the ladybugs were added to Adopt Me so don't judge her. But guys, the ladybug is so cute. Wait, she came up with the ladybug idea before Adopt Me even released the ladybugs. She's a time traveler. <laughs> Guys, that's so cool. And also there's a cute little caterpillar. It reminds me of the Very Hungry Caterpillar. You know that storybook? I haven't read that in years. I feel so nostalgic now. That's so cool. Guys, how cool is this caterpillar though? And then, boom, they're both on the branch together. Here we have a goat concept. And look, it's like an Arctic reindeer, except it's a goat. It's got a little beard. It's like, hmm, I got a beard. I'm a bearded goat. I'm cool. And also, it's got like little pokey ears that poke out, a bit like mine. I've got like elf ears. My mum played with my ears for like all of my life. She does it every day. She's like, oh, hello, Presley. And then tugs on my ears so hard that my ears are so massive. Now I've pulled them out and they're red. And also, it's got cute little horns. Guys, how cool is this? Okay, her next concept is this cute little squirrel. How cool is this? I just, one of its tricks 
it can pick up a nut off the ground, a walnut, and then it can start nibbling on it, like, num 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 num. Also, there's a bluebird, and this looks like a robin, except it's bright blue. I think that's really cool. Next, we have what looks like a fox. We've got phoenix foxes, we've got dingoes, we've got that sort of stuff, but we don't have a proper fox. That's really cute. So it looks like a phoenix fox, but it's like orange. I think that's really cool. A cute little fox. Okay, and also, there's the toadstool tortoise. Guys, how cool is that? Or the toadstool turtle. So she's actually put the actual adult me toadstool on the turtle's back. And I just think that's so creative. That's really cool. So shout out to Super Sneaky Spy Girl. I think this is really awesome. And also, she came up with the toadstool umbrella, which will make you jump higher. Let's actually head over to the pet shop, where we can go and take a look at the brand new pet wear guys the brand new spring pet wear so this is only the first pieces of pet wear so here we have oh my gosh a neck ribbon guys that's so cute we're gonna have to try all of this on right now let's go there's also a bug net that's super cute look at it it's a cute little net oh that's awesome next is a headband and it's a rainbow one guys it's a rainbow headband that's really cool okay That'll like vibe with Starburst colors because Starburst is a neon. She's like rainbow. That's really cool. We just have to get her back, guys. I can't wait to get her back. There's also the super expensive leaf wings. They're so expensive. Buy The 2000. Guys, that's really cool. There's also the goth shoes. Oh my gosh. They are quite... They're kind of expensive for shoes, but they're really cool. Let's try them. And, oh, they're not the sh they're not the socks and sandals yet. There's the picnic basket. Oh, my gosh. Yogi Bear's picnic basket. Yes. And also the froggy hat. I don't know why this wasn't, like, $10,000. It deserves to be $10,000. Look at it. It's a froggy. We need to try that on an actual frog. Where's Kermit? Kermit, where you at, my boy? Okay, let's go. Dress up into all this stuff. Where is the froggy hat? Yes. Daisy the dodo can wear the rainbow headband. That'll be really cool. Okay. Well, guys, there's the headband. That's so cool. She's just vibing. She's ready for exercise. The goth shoes. Oh, my God. How did I not notice the ladybug has eight feet or six feet? That's cool. This one doesn't have a name yet, and we need to name him Yogi. Because he's Yogi Bear now. Look at it. Yogi Bear. And we need to give him a picnic basket. But oh, guys, this update is so awesome. I'm going to go steal some picnic baskets with Yogi. But I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have the best day ever. Peace.